I'm Lisa Birnbach for HowGenie.com. Is there any dress more important to a woman than her wedding gown? At least her first wedding gown? You may have a very clear idea of what you want or your head may be swimming from all of the choices. Here to help us sort through is Carly Roney, Editor-in-Chief of TheKnot.com, whose new book is The Knot Book of Wedding Lists. Well, Carly changes constantly in the air for wedding gowns. I now read that the red carpet is more predictive of what people want than the traditional wedding gown. Wedding dresses have gotten very glamorous. There's certainly those big, beautiful, traditional ball gowns out there, but the sexy, slim skirt is really the wedding look of the moment. It's the kind of straight down through the hips, maybe a little bit of flare at the bottom, so you still feel a little bit like a bride, but that is the hot trend. Now, brides want to show off these bodies they've been working so hard on. They want that celebrity feel. They're a little bit older. That's one of the reasons why the fashions are changing. They're much more fashion forward. They're like, if I'm going to drop, you know, two to gosh knows how many grand on a wedding dress. I want it to be something that makes me look like a star. And the looks that they're seeing on the, on the red carpet on their favorite celebrities are much more body hugging, are, are much less traditional, and that is the look that, that many brides want to present these days. But still white or ivory predominantly? That's not the case anymore. There's even cafe colored wedding dresses. There's a, a much more predominance towards the rich, creamy colors because they actually you know, look and feel uh, more expensive. It's, it's a, there's an elegance to them that the sort of stark white wedding dress uh, doesn't have. Carly, what about length? Are brides still opting for a full length gown? Full length wedding dresses are still by far the standard, but you are seeing a lot more short dresses on the runway and girls who are wearing them. So the two main strains, I guess, in wedding dresses are traditional princessy and sexy. There's traditional and then there's sexy and there's the in-between dress. It's often the like beautiful strapless lace dress but has a flare at the bottom so it's a little bit body hugging and and but it also has some bride in it. That's really and it's really right there in the middle that most dresses are made today. It's the the trumpet skirt mm -hmm. and it actually is what's popular in, in fashion so it's working very well. Uh, how many fittings? There are usually three fittings. One is first when you buy the gown, because even though you know most gowns are custom made, they still want to basically you know get your sizing right and 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 really you know have some alteration work just to do from the basic day. So there's one at that sort of like six month mark or when you order the dress, and then of course you have one you know in maybe the sort of the month before the wedding, and then there's one that's literally like a couple you know the week before the wedding, just in case you know you put on dropped a couple of pounds. Uh, they want to make sure it actually fits on your wedding day. That probably so. happens a lot, right? It happens a lot. That's one of the things we are very cautionary about on the not dot company go on these crash diets the two weeks before their wedding and they don't realize they just had their significant fitting <laughs> and they're going to wake up you know on their wedding morning and be like Whoops. swimming <laughs> yeah right. swimming in my dress it's not a good thing so don't Never go on a crash that. diet that's right it also turns you into a lunatic which none of us need any more stress as a bride or as a friend of a bride <laughs> and if you're bridezilla it's bridezilla on steroids right yeah. thank you carly for howdini.com i'm lisa birnbach